Yeah, slight amendment to that. Uh, rock is in intent, but in the decibel level. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> Storm, Storm set the tone with his alcoholic mafioso look and feel <laughs> happening this morning. Short stands that we're insisting on using. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Sure about that. It's very comfortable. You can kind of perch your feet up on it. That's yeah, a nice way. Oh, you're doing it too? Yeah. I've been doing this since I woke up, man. It's like we're flying fighter jets. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's too short for the foot perch. Your arm's too short to box with God, Jonathan. <laughs> this is just we're, we're just going to sit up here the way this is going to run is we're just going to sit up here and make a lot of inside references to each other that none of you will understand and we are not taking any questions <laughs> also, <laughs> you, know, you know also if you rest it against your face you can rest your hands on it your arms <laughs> and you can, you can catch whatever it is that the last person oh yeah these are filled with norovirus yeah <laughs> <laughs> there will be no questions answered yeah, about norovirus. That's next year's t-shirt, everybody. Joker Cruise Crazy 5, colon, filled with norovirus. <laughs> oh, my, colon filled with norovirus. Two weeks. Semicolon. The end of the trip, certainly. <laughs> Um, all right, let's just let's go ahead and start this thing. Yeah, we don't really. We're gonna know keep how it. We're keeping this low NPR tone, I think. Yeah, so I think just uh, raise your hand and uh, answer the question. Ask, no, raise the hand and answer the question. Yeah, <laughs> we'd like to ask you some questions. Yeah, we just have a question. Yeah, it was a mis it was a typo in the schedule. This was actually supposed to be called the management ask. Um, yeah, so I I'd ask you if. The, the theory on this, I mean, you're, you're welcome to ask us questions about operating the cruise. You can tell us things that you like, ask us about things you might want to see or wish to have improved, or you can just ask Jonathan questions about himself. <laughs> I will say this. Uh, there are certain things in our dealings with the cruise ship that we are not permitted to, to talk about, uh, mostly having to do with, with contractual stuff. Yeah. So if, if it's one of those things, we will, we will say it. Those things are so if I start talking, we're trying to be safe, John. I'll just knock your stage out of your hands, knock my microphone down. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm wondering if in a future cruise, obviously, do it for five, but uh, a cruise that will not conflict with academia. There's a bunch of us who go to school or right. are involved yeah. in some way. Yeah, it is also uh, uh, a problem for, uh, for me. I have kids. The, the question is will there be a cruise that will not conflict with academia? Uh, and uh, the answer is uh, maybe I don't know. Well, it, all, it all comes to you know we 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 always try to find there are many different parameters that we look at when we pick a sailing, and it has to do with time of year, having access to one of the ships that works in terms of the space that's available, uh, and ultimately the price, not just of the cruise itself, but of everything around it. And we did do a, a cruise during a spring break week mm -hmm. one year. And what we discovered was that the cost of airfare mm -hmm. was so much higher yep. uh, during spring break that uh, it ended up being a more expensive proposition for everybody. So, uh, And also the cruise lines themselves, those are high demand times. So they, they might have less uh, availability for... Right, that there's, there's not the free capacity for them to say, yeah, let's have someone else figure out how to fill these cabins. And sometimes, the, sometimes their prices get jacked up as well uh, during those weeks. So uh, you know, it really comes down to us every year trying to find the best possible sailing. Uh, to make the least amount of people angry. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically yeah. a lot of our anger. 
lot of our answers are going to come down to we're trying to deliver the most value uh, for the most people. Market. But uh, that being said, it is absolutely something that we consider each year, and it is not something that we blithely decided. You know, I mean, my wife is a teacher, uh, and it is, it is never an easy thing uh, for me to bring my family on, just as it is with, with many of you. So it is, it is not something that we. It's something we feel bad about, at the very least. <laughs> but, uh, my, does that does that does fix everything? Does that fix everything? Like, just feel know bad about it, you monsters. Me. Yeah, they're making us feel bad. So. <laughs> Thanks. Jewish <laughs> Catholic.